Hello there. Today we're going to be adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. In the two examples we're going to see, we have unlike denominators. Remember, to add or subtract fractions or mixed numbers, we must have common denominators. Let's look at the first example. In this example, we have a denominator of 6 and a denominator of 5. So what we want to do is find what's called the lowest common denominator, or the lowest common multiple of 5 and 6. Let's list the first few multiples of both 5 and 6. The first 10 multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. The first 10 multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. If we compare the list of multiples, we see that the lowest common multiple of 6 and 5 is 30. We now need to create fractions with denominators of 30. In our first fraction, 5 6 we would need to multiply 6 by 5. Whatever we do to the denominator, we also have to do to the numerator. So we need to multiply the numerator of 5 by 5 as well. Since 5 times 5 is 25, the equivalent fraction for 5 6 is 25 30 Let's do the same thing with the other fraction, 2 fifths. To create a fraction with a denominator of 30, we would have to multiply 5 by 6. Whatever we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator. So 2 times 6 is 12, making the equivalent fraction 12 thirtieths. Now that our two fractions have the same denominators, we can go ahead and subtract. So we're going to leave the denominator as 30 and just subtract our numerators. 25 minus 12. Well, that equals 13. So our difference is 13 thirtieths. In the next example, we'll be adding mixed numbers. Our mixed numbers have unlike denominators. To make them easier to add, we can rewrite our mixed numbers as improper fractions. Do you remember how to do this? To change a mixed number to an improper fraction, we multiply the denominator by the whole number and then add the numerator. So for the first mixed number, one and one third, we're going to multiply the denominator three by the whole number one, and that gives us three. We then add the numerator one to three, which gives us the improper fraction for one and one third, four thirds. Let's look at the other mixed number, 2 and 3 fifths. We multiply the denominator of 5 by the whole number 2, which gives us 10. We add the numerator 3 to make 13. So our mixed number for 2 and 3 fifths is 13 fifths as an improper fraction. Notice that we still have unlike denominators, so we need to take care of that. We have denominators of 3 and 5. Let's list the first few multiples of each number to find the lowest common denominator. The first 10 multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. The first 10 multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. From this list, we see that the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. Starting with the first improper fraction, 4 thirds, we're going to create an equivalent improper fraction using a denominator of 15. To create a denominator of 15, we multiply 3 by 5, and whatever we do to our denominator, we must do to our numerator. So we're going to multiply 4 by 5 as well. This gives us 20 fifteenths. For the second fraction, 13 fifths, 
we multiply the five in the denominator by three to get 15. Whatever we do to the denominator, we also do to the numerator. So we multiply 13 by three, and that gives us 39. So our equivalent in proper fraction becomes 39 fifteenths. Now, both of our improper fractions have like denominators. So we're going to leave the denominator as 15 and add our numerators, 39 plus 20. This equals 59, so our sum is 59 fifteenths. One more step. Let's rewrite our improper fraction as a mixed number. To do that, we need to divide the numerator by the denominator and use the remainder as our numerator. So 59 divided by 15 equals three with the remainder of 14, making our mixed number three and 14 fifteenths. Let's keep practicing adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. Push pause while you complete each task. You can do this on your own. Practice converting mixed numbers to fractions. Four and one half, five and five sixths, or seven and three fifths. You can do this with a partner. Together, solve five and one third plus six and two fifths, eight and three fourths plus seven and five ninths, and try six and one third minus three and four fifths. Let's try a challenge. Solve this mixed fraction problem that involves regrouping. Five and three eighths minus two and seven eighths. Time to reflect. After completing the activities, tell someone or write down what parts make sense and what parts, if any, are still confusing. You did a great job today. It's always good to see you. Bye. Did you enjoy this video? Bottle has more awesome learning content delivered through amazing 3D games. Sign up today.